So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you five tips on how to optimize your NVIDIA GPU. Your GPU will be optimized for the lowest possible latency, most amount of FPS, and overall smoother gameplay. But before we get started, this video is only going to cover about a quarter of what our premium utility can do for your GPU, which is why I encourage you guys to check out VelocityTweaks.com. And not only could our utility completely optimize graphics cards, but it could also optimize your entire PC. So if you want to truly unlock the potential of your PC and no longer hold yourself back, make sure you visit Velocity velocitytweaks.com. Now let's get started. So the first step is going to be downloading the file that we'll be using in this video. And to do that, you're going to be joining our Discord server. You can either join the server by typing in discord.gg slash velocity in your browser, or just click the link in the description. Once you've joined the server, you're going to want to go to the left hand side and click free utility. And down at the bottom, you're going to want to download the full NVIDIA optimization pack. Once you have it downloaded, you're just going to want to open it up and drag the folder inside onto your desktop. Now for the first actual step, we're going to be cleaning our driver cache. So open the folder and open the shortcut that's right here. Now I would recommend clicking every box on the left, but the one we're going to be looking for is DirectX Shader Cache. And once you're good to go, just click OK. Once the cleaner disappears and it's fully done, we're going to be moving on to correctly uninstalling our GPU drivers. So open the folder and open the boot safe application. Make sure safe mode is enabled and then click restart windows. What this is going to do is put us into safe mode on windows. So when uninstalling our GPU drivers, there's no technical or graphical issues. You'll know you're in safe mode once your screen looks like this. And once you see this pop up, just click yes. Now reopen the optimization pack, go to the uninstall driver folder, open the DDU folder, and then open the application. Then you're going to want to select GPU and then click clean and restart. Once your PC is back, you're going to want to open up the pack and open the installed debloated drivers folder and open MV clean install. Now in this day and age, there is no such thing as the best driver. The best driver that will give you the most consistent performance will always be the latest ones. But that doesn't mean that when an update is available that you should immediately upgrade. So the latest driver as I'm recording this is 560.70, so I'm just going to click next. And if you use GeForce Experience to clip, check on GeForce Experience and Shadowplay, click next, and then yes. Now in my opinion, I would recommend staying away from GeForce Experience and use OBS instead, which is the more superior software. But once you're ready, just click next and let it do its thing. Now we're moving on to the installation tweaks. And these are extremely important, so make sure you pay attention. You're going to want to disable installer telemetry and advertising, unattended express installation, perform a clean installation, and if you use GeForce Experience, leave this setting alone, but if you don't, disable multiplane and overlay, disable Ansel, then click show expert tweaks, disable driver telemetry, disable NVIDIA HD audio, disable HDCP, then check use a method compatible with easy anti-cheat, and then check automatically accept the driver unsigned warning. Once your settings look like mine, then click next, and then click install. And once you're good to go, you can just click the X right here. Next, we're gonna cover NVIDIA Profile Expector and Control Panel settings. So open the folder, right click NVIDIA Profile Expector and run as administrator. Then drag this file right here onto NVIDIA Profile Expector. It should say profile successfully imported, click OK, and then close out of it. That profile not only optimized your normal control panel settings, but also changed some hidden ones for a bigger FPS boost and lower latency. There's still some things you gotta do in the control panel though, so right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA Control Panel. Head to Manage 3D Settings and scroll down. On Monitor Technology, change it to Fixed Refresh. On Preferred Refresh Rate, change it to Highest Available. With Shader Cache, if you have a lot of storage, I would keep it on Unlimited. But if you don't, I would recommend going to around 10 gigabytes. And with VSync, just change it to Off and then click apply. Then you're going to want to head to adjust desktop size and position and you're going to change both your monitors to no scaling and then click apply. Next go to change resolution. Make sure both your monitors are in the correct res and hertz then click apply then click yes scroll down and change to the Nvidia color settings on both your monitors. Second last thing we need to do here is head to desktop click enable developer settings head over to manage GPU performance counters and then allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users. And finally, you're going to want to head to Configure Surround Physics and then change your processor from Auto Selected to your GPU and then click Apply. And now you're done with the NVIDIA Control Panel. Now the last step is to reduce the GPU driver latency. So head to the pack and open the last folder. Right click on the MSI Utility Mode and run as Administrator. And what you're going to want to make sure is that MSI Mode is selected for your GPU. But what you're going to want to do for the interrupt priority is change every setting from High to Undefined. Then click Apply. 
And the reason why we change it from high to undefined is because we don't want random FPS spikes and stutters to be happening while we're gaming. And once you've hit apply, then you're good to close out of it. And once you've done everything, hit your Windows key and quickly restart your PC to enjoy the performance boost. And that's going to be it on the tutorial on how to optimize your NVIDIA GPU. Really quickly, just as a reminder, everything we just showed you is only a quarter of what our utility can actually do for your GPU. And not just your GPU, but your entire PC as a whole. So if you're truly interested in getting the lowest amount of delay and maximum FPS, head over to VelocityTweaks.com. But that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like, comment if either this helped you, or you want a tutorial on how to clip with OBS, and subscribe with notifications so you never miss another tutorial from us. Have a great day, guys.